Earlier this week, we showed you the nonstop politics in the presidential background. Voters in Bell Bellwether, Ohio, are being bombarded by both campaigns. Right. The candidates are focused on just 11 of 13 battleground states. That leaves most Americans on the sidelines. Oklahoma hasn't hosted a general election presidential candidate, and get this, 40 years. Tony DeCopo is in Oklahoma City, where voters, well, they feel forgotten. Tony, good morning. Good morning. Oklahoma shares a border with the battleground state of Colorado, and it doesn't feel all that far away from Ohio. But when it comes to presidential politics, this right here might as well be outer space. I'm here at the campaign center in Oklahoma City. It's a busy day at this phone bank for Hillary Clinton. She's already voted. But the candidate herself is long gone. You don't get many Democratic candidates running for president in Oklahoma. Neither Hillary Clinton nor Donald Trump have campaigned in the Sooner State since winning their party's nomination. People realized I was right. In fact, the candidates have stumped in the same 11 states, leaving about 80% of America on the sidelines. Diners are classic campaign stops, but not so much here in Oklahoma, and the voters have noticed. I feel like my vote's pretty much worthless. This state is irrelevant. And you've received zero calls? I've received zero. Zero calls. Zero calls, and I have a landline. Any knocks on the door? Yeah. Nope, nope. Mailers, at least? Nope, nope. The major party candidates have spent more than half of their campaign events in only four states. Rob Ritchie is the executive director of Fair Vote, an organization that wants to replace the electoral college system with a national popular vote. So there's this incredible disparity about the states that count and the states that don't. The way spectator states like Oklahoma have it now, they're often overlooked long after the election is over. They're half as likely to get the number of disaster designations, no matter who's elected. In 2012, for example, a tornado destroyed nearly 100 homes and killed six people in Oklahoma. The state received no federal funding. Two months later, New Hampshire received more than $3 million after a rainstorm. No one died. People living in spectator states are also less likely to vote. Oklahoma is one of four states with turnout below 50 percent. But some voters we talked to here, like this group of Oklahoma young Republicans, were against the idea of a national popular vote. And we're not up there with population, and so I, I think we'd actually lose out more on a, on a national popular vote. Oklahoma Republicans are uh, afraid that the national popular vote could sideline them even more because they're a low population state. But 40 years ago, the last general election candidate to rally here to give a speech, Jimmy Carter, 1976. Oh, that was a long time ago. Thank you very much, Tony.